Hello friends, welcome to another presentation from All Learn and Lot team. It is about fluorescein angiography, also called as fundus fluorescein angiography, the dye test. This is a very common procedure that is performed in medical retinal clinics and it has got a lot of use in diagnosis and management of medical retinal disorders. In this short talk we will try to understand what is an indication for fluorescein angiography, what is its principle, what are the side effects, what are the contraindications and what are the different phases in a normal fluorescein angiogram. Fluorescein angiography is, is study of retinal and choroidal vasculature obtained by taking the photographs of retina at different intervals of time after injecting the fluorescein dye intravenously. It takes about 15-20 minutes to do the procedure. It is based on the principle of fluorescence that is the ability of the fluorescein to emit the light of higher wavelength when stimulated by the light of shorter wavelength. The excitation peak which is at 490 nanometers refers to the light stimulating the fluorescein dye. When the fluorescein is stimulated by this wavelength of light it emits a light at a higher wavelength which is 530 nanometers which is called as emission peak and it is this which is responsible for the fluorescence which is captured on the images. Fluorescein angiography can be done for any medical retinal disorder. The most important indications are macular edema due to any cause, diabetic retinopathy or macular edema leading to decreased vision, retinal vein occlusion, choroidal neoscular membrane. Even in proliferative diabetic retinopathies, it is very useful to look for new vessels which leak profusely on fluorescein angiography. It also helps to guide the laser treatment as in macular edema. It helps to localize the source of leakage like leaking macroneurysms and in this way it helps to do a precise laser treatment. As fluorescein angiography helps to assess the ischemia of the retina, it is very helpful to predict prognosis. If retinal ischemia is there, then prognosis is generally not good and doing the laser treatment in these patients can cause the vision to go worse. Two absolute contraindications for doing fluorescein angiography are one is very poor kidney functions as it is excreted from the kidneys and the second thing is previous history of allergy to fluorescein or anaphylactic reaction to fluorescein. How do we do the fluorescein angiography procedure? Take a informed consent from the patient explaining the procedure, possible complications and the indications for the procedure. Dilate the pupil with tropicamide and maybe with phenylephrine. Obtain an intravenous axis for injecting the fluorescein dye. At the same time, have all the medications to manage anaphylactic reaction in case it happens. It is something which does not happen often, but we need to be prepared for managing it. Once we have obtained the intravenous axis, inject the dye and start capturing the images. Initially, the images will be every few seconds and later on, the images can be captured at few minutes interval with a last image at around 15 minutes. There are five phases of normal fluorescein angiogram. 
first is pre arterial phase that is once we inject the dye in the arm it takes about 8 to 12 seconds before it starts appearing in retinal circulation it is also called as choroidal phase this is followed by arterial phase where the arteries or arterioles start filling up followed by arteriovenous phase which is a capillary phase characterized by early lamellar flow in the veins the venous phase is the late phase where there is complete filling of the veins followed by the elimination phase which is also called as late phase and it may take up to 10 to 15 minutes let us try to look at the normal fluorescein angiogram this is the picture showing the fundus image before the dye is injected you can see the blood vessels are appearing black here this is a red free photograph this is the arterial phase you can see the white lines which are arterioles and you can see the dye within them whereas the black lines that we are able to see are the veins which are not filled yet hence this is the arterial phase again this is uh, an image from the arterial phase you can see the arterioles have filled completely however the veins are still appearing black it means the veins have not filled up yet you can see in this picture the arterioles are filled up the veins show lamellar flow where you can see the the fluorescein dye in the periphery where is the center still appears black this is the capillary phase this is followed by the venous phase you can see all all the arterioles and the veins in the venules are completely filled up this is the early phase of the angiogram you can see the blood vessels have started filling up you can see some white spot this is an abnormal fluorescein angiogram seen in a diabetic patient those all leaking spots or microaneurysms this fluorescein angiograph the early phase uh, lasts for about 15 20 seconds and this is the last phase which is a uh, late phase or the elimination phase where the dye starts getting eliminated from the retinal circulation it takes about 10 15 minutes what are the side effects of fluorescein angiography it is very important to explain the patient that the skin will appear yellow for one to two days and the urine will be discolored yellow as the dye is excreted from the skin that is sweat and kidneys when we inject the fluorescein dye some people feel nauseous and uh, some may have vomiting it's always important to be, be prepared to manage syncope or anaphylaxis which can rarely happen while doing fluorescein angiography Th this is probably one of the tests where the patient comes perfectly normal into the clinic and may end up with anaphylaxis and very very rarely death in this presentation I have just tried to speak about a normal fluorescein angiograph in future we will try to look at abnormal fluorescein angiographies so in summary fluorescein angiography is a very useful investigating modality in medical retinal disorders the major advantage of fluorescein angiography is uh, the ability to assess ischemia there is a lot of research going on to see if you can get some imaging mortality which can overcome the problems associated with the dye like OCT angiography which is coming up which doesn't need injecting the fluorescein dye however till date fluorescein angiography is one of the major investigating modality that is practiced in medical retinal disorders Thank you. Thanks for watching the presentation. Please do give your feedbacks on the presentation and do share, like and comment on the talk. Thank you.